Okay, for this problem, we're asked to find an equation for the tangent set of the function f of x, y, z equals the quantity x plus 3z times the quantity y squared minus 3yz. And we're going to do that at the point p equals 5, negative 2, 3. Okay, so first we're going to want to find the linearization of f at p. which we know to be f of p plus the gradient vector of f at p dotted with the vector x minus p. So first we're going to want to calculate the value f of p. So this equals equals 308. And then we're going to want to also calculate the gradient vector of f at p. So we're going to first calculate the partial derivative of f with respect to x, then y, and then z. So the partial derivative of f with respect to x is just y squared minus 3yz. And we'll go ahead and calculate that at the point 5, negative 2, 3. And we get that the value is 22. Partial derivative of f with respect to y. And we get that partial derivative of f with respect to y is 2y times the quantity x plus 3z minus 3z times the quantity x plus 3z. And we'll evaluate that also at the point 5, negative 2, 3. This first term, x plus 3z, is 14. And then negative 13 is the second term. So that's negative 182. And now we're going to calculate partial derivative of f with respect to z. And we get that the partial derivative of f with respect to z is 3 times the quantity y squared minus 3yz plus the quantity 
x plus 3z times negative 3y. And just get some space. So the partial derivative of f at z, or f, f with respect to z at p we can pull out a 3y And we get this. And now we'll evaluate it at the point. Minus 11, minus 14, minus 25. Equals negative 150. Hold on. There's a mistake somewhere. So that should be negative 6, which would make this positive 150. OK, so we know that just keep in mind that all of these are evaluated at the point 5, negative 2, 3, even though it just looks like it's the partial derivative. Okay, so now we're going to calculate the linearization of f at p. Our value of f at p is 308. Our gradient vector is 22, negative 182, 150. And then x minus p dotted with the vector x minus 5 y plus 2, z minus 3. We can evaluate that. So that's the linearization of f 
at p, which is the same thing as allowing or describing our tangent plane point set. as the points x, y, z, and then our f of x, y, z, or the, the linearization of f at p, sorry. So that's the, those are the points on the tangent plane. 